Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about those cryptocurrencies that you've been hearing so much about. There are a ton of them floating around now. Everyone wants a piece of the pie, but the main ones are Bitcoin, Litecoin, Purecoin, Namecoin, and Dogecoin, and Catcoin. Actually, no, I'm just kidding about those last two. They do really exist. In fact, people are making money on Catcoin at the moment. But anyway, those four first ones are sort of the more relevant ones. We're going to give you a rundown about this cryptocurrency currency thing and what it's all about. So at the most basic level, these cryptocurrencies are really no different than the money that you have in your wallet. In Similar to this money in my wallet, it has no intrinsic value. It's just bits of data, whereas this is just pieces of paper. You can't actually really do much with this other than like throw it in the air like a rap star or like you know, strike menacing poses and hold large wads of it or whatever else you want to do. It also bears some similarity to commodities like gold or diamonds though. So there's no central bank that controls it. And keeping with that theme of no control, like gold and diamonds, it can be sent directly from user to user without any credit card companies, banks, or other intermediaries. Now, unlike, also similar to gold, but unlike the wrap status paper, you can't just print a bunch of a cryptocurrency. They are actually, they need to be mined. So at the heart of Bitcoin, for example, there is a mathematical problem. Users solve these problems with high-end computer parts. Graphics cards are better than CPUs, and beyond those are ASIC cards. And every time a solution to the problem is found, there is a reward given in the form of a Bitcoin. Now, the difficulty of this math problem varies with the strength of the network, so that the solutions are found at regular intervals, every 10 minutes on average. The reward also varies, or the reward itself also varies, except it is tied to a four year scale which started at 10.5 million coins in the first year and then will half. Now eventually we're going to reach the upper limit of 21 million bitcoins and after that, like gold, once we run out of it we can't mine more and the theory is that bitcoins will become more expensive as they become more rare and people eventually lose them. I mean once you lose a wallet full of bitcoins, those bitcoins are gone forever. But don't worry guys, there is a saving grace. Unlike normal currency that can only make smaller denominations like pennies and dollars, bitcoins can actually be divided up to eight decimal places. So 0.0000001 bitcoin would be the smallest denomination of bitcoin. That's how even with a bitcoin hovering at you know, anywhere between $500 to $1,500 Canadian, depending on the time of day and, you know, what's going on out there in the market. Um, you can still just use a fraction of that to pay for a pack of gum, for example. It's not like, oh, well, do you have change for $700 for this packet? No, it's not like that. Now, the way that Bitcoins are stored is in a virtual wallet, which basically keeps a unique record of every single transaction and also allows you to send and receive Bitcoins. All transactions are also verified by the miners and that record is permanently stored by all members of the network. So that means that transactions can take a few minutes in order to complete and verify that it has actually gone through. So that is the general idea behind Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies really as a whole, but what about all these other cryptocurrencies? We've mostly talked about Bitcoin so far. Well, there are three main ones, Litecoin, Purecoin, and Namecoin. Uh, Litecoins are the second biggest cryptocurrency right now with uh, the main advantage, I guess, being that they're a lot cheaper, they're easier to mine, and uh, they're also about four times faster when completing a transaction. Speaking of them being easier to mine, Litecoin is also ASIC resistant, which means that ASIC cards and machines that are special pieces of hardware that are built simply to mine cryptocurrency faster um, is not that effective on it. Now speaking of ASICs, let's talk a little bit about what those are. So for, for Bitcoin particularly, because it's not ASIC resistant, ASIC cards and machines are special pieces of hardware that are built simply to mine Bitcoin way faster than even the highest end consumer grade hardware. So to put it in perspective, the fastest video card produces between one to two kilo hash, which is the unit of measurement for how quickly you can calculate cryptocurrency. Um, so these dedicated cards compared to 1.2 kilo hash can produce up to 1500 giga hash at power consumptions that are much lower. Power consumption is one of the major 
costs of mining Bitcoins because you have to have the hardware working extremely hard. So um, essentially Litecoins, when I say ASIC resistant, it means that they are much harder to make dedicated hardware for and GPUs, graphics cards, remain the most efficient way to mine them. And that makes them much more accessible than the $2,000 plus ASIC monster dedicated hardware. And um, in addition to that, you can actually use your graphics card for other things. So it's more for real people, normal people. Now, all the other currencies have their unique spin, but I won't bog you too much down with all of that. Just check out the description to learn more about them. But in summary, Bitcoins are a virtual currency, which, like we said, is not really that different from a paper currency. This is sort of virtual value as well. You can mine them with high-end computer parts or ASIC miners. There are a maximum of 21 million Bitcoins out there, 12 million of which have already been found, and all the transactions are publicly and anonymously stored. Now stay tuned tomorrow, guys, because we are going to go over exactly how to build a Bitcoin mining rig if this little video here has piqued your interest what you might need and we're going to show off wheels this frankenstein system that is hard at work right now mining in the next room